This is improved solder vacuum revision three. The biggest change is I removed the rigid Sawzall and replaced it with the motor of a Makita reciprocating saw. I had to build my own custom speed control in order to use this sewing machine pedal. So what is contained in here is an IGBT, a large heat sink, a thermal fuse, which I removed from a vacuum cleaner, so if the temperature gets too high, it will shut off control. A speed control knob, so I can fine tune the rate of rotation of the motor. And just to demonstrate the knob function. So there we are with it being at a good spot. There it is at being at too low a bias point on the gate of the IGBT. So you can see this thing moves around quite a bit. So when I use it, I need to clamp it down or fasten it down with some bolts or something, which I will do at the end of this video. And the next stage after the reciprocating saw is the pump. Nothing has changed on the pump from revision two, so I still have the inline valve and the output valve. All right, so I'm gonna mount this and then show you a demonstration of it being used. And here's the battery I'm using. It's from the original reciprocating saw. Here are some pieces that were used to hold the battery in place. Okay, so here it is mounted on my bench leg here, and I can put the pedal wherever I wish. And now I'll show you a demonstration. And here's a demonstration of it being used to remove some components from this transformer regulated DC power supply. So, all those components were removed in a very short amount of time. Thanks for watching.